Good morning and welcome to our new session of design of tension members. I shall just give you a brief introduction about what a tension member is. And we shall also discuss some of the terminologies in this. Uh, mostly these are the equations. And we shall also see what is the design procedure of tension member. Okay. Uh, first of all, we shall see what are the different cross sections that are used as tension members. Okay. Uh, the alternative name to tension members is tie member, which are usually the members uh, that we find in a truss, which are on the bottom side of the truss. Okay. Bottom members are usually the tie members because these members carry the tension because of the loading so tension member is also known as tie member and uh, as far as the section classification is concerned these should be compact sections uh, if you have not gone through the section classification we shall uh, repeat this in design of compression members okay so these should be compact sections it is uh, everything to be uh, with respect to moment rotation curve okay uh, next point most part of the member should be connected to cassette plate in order to minimize stress concentration uh, so there are two legs of the member that we can now see in the next slide for different cross sections so uh, whatever the cross section is there, its most part should be connected to cassette plate because if they are free or in this case we call it as outstanding leg. If there is outstand, outstanding leg which is not connected to any cassette plate then for those parts of the member you know, or the outstanding legs there will be stress concentration to a much extent which should be avoided uh, then different cross sections we can see here <laughs> this is circular cross section this is uh, angle section and this is channel section angle sections placed back to back it means two sections you can use for one member then this is uh, typical arrangement of four angle sections are used for one member then this is a uh, assembly or arrangement of sections which is making the section is box section okay this is the shape of a box using four different angle sections <clears throat> now if uh, let us say this is one angle section there is there are two legs okay these uh, two things are called uh, legs of the section one of the legs will be usually connected to the set plate using bolted or riveted connections or even welding okay so the part of the section which is connected to the set plate uh, that is connected and uh, the other part let us say this part vertical which is not connected to the gusset plate it is known as outstanding leg and this is connected leg okay if it is connected to gusset plate it is called connected leg the other will be known as outstanding and vice versa so these are different cross sections that can be used as tension members in uh, trusses if you have to use uh, any of the cross sections they are usually double angle sections okay for tension members uh, usually we use double angle sections because they are major members of the truss 